five hour impression of Werner Herzog, buddy, I'm not sure I can even do a five second impression of Werner Herzog. Five second impression of Werner Herzog. Shelly, you must burn this tape. Show this to nobody. Not bad, not bad. Okay, all right. That was about five seconds. Batman begin. Imagine my surprise to find we're sucking dick at the five guys in München in such a basal place. It should not come as a shock. Immune system's cooked. I'm fucking chilling, bro. I had a 90-minute diarrhea-less Peloton ride this morning. The Peloton sub-community can attest that to celebrate, I screen-capped the uh, Hulk Hogan tweet that said, poop in my gym, brother, and then I crossed out the part that said poop, so it just says, in my gym, brother. Pretty good wattage, too. Maybe like 197 watt average. I'm going to say 88 cadence, which it's not 92, but it's still, I mean, we were, we were working the respiratory system. Don't get me wrong. Visited Vancouver and had shrooms, got lost in Queen Elizabeth Park. It was amazing. The birds were going crazy. Brother, you don't even need the mushrooms for that. I got lost in Queen Elizabeth Park because we were, we had our car in the shop. So I was driving uh, the like courtesy car with no navigation system but i was like i know the streets that go east west and i know the streets that go north south imagine my surprise when i'm on is it fucking like 33rd or something and then i i'm like i'll just follow 33rd until i get to maine turns out 33rd doesn't fucking go to maine my brother 33rd at canby turns into a fucking hedge maze where now all of a sudden you're driving like in the middle of a forest and you're doing like 270 degree hairpins and chicanes and stuff like that. And then I'm like, oh shit, I'm in the, I'm in the middle of the park right now. Not on the grass, but like Dan is presently committing a crime. What's he doing? He's streaming his DMV phone call. Why does he have to, why is he calling the DMV? Like for pleasure content <laughs> he's tracking vehicles with vin numbers he's trying to find his 2005 taurus that he sold years ago brother that is a crime you're absolutely right i don't know what crime it is but i'm pretty sure like there's got to be some kind of invasion of privacy right it's in the scrap heap but he doesn't want to accept it that is a very north american thing north americans love to be like Hey, I think this shit is junk because I've excelled past this level. But surely some other piece of garbage out there would be able to use it. It's not junk. It's just junk to me because I'm better than you. But somebody out there could still use it, man. Like, it's still worth a lot. I mean, it's worthless to me. Same shit when I worked at fucking Goodwill. Yeah, the underwear's soaked with piss. But there's people out there who don't even have piss-soaked underwear. It's a Ford Taurus overlay, rust and pepperonis. I have like very little regrets in life. One of my greatest regrets is selling my 2005 Ford Taurus. Man, what do I just need the VIN? If I find the VIN, could we find it? Taurus title, just like that, found the title. VIN. Okay, so I'm gonna go to Kelly, kbb.com, Kelly Blue Book. Will it tell me the locate? How do I, I have the VIN. How do I find the location of it? Can I find the, can you find the location of a car based on its VIN? Get a job in government and you can. Anyone here work for the government? Want to help me track that down? There, that has to be, can I, can I file, technically yes. Can I file a FOIA to get it? You can't only if it had a lien on it. Maybe there is a lien on it. How would that look? Because how would you know someone's VIN? You really don't. But if you're trying to track down a car, no one's tracking that stuff? Yo, hold on here. Hold on. A9 Can't subs believe were 85% false subs. of my sub time has been me seeing the red you died screen. Yo, how's it going? Yo, hey, you're on stream right now. Oh, what up, everybody? Um, 596. Hey, I, I haven't told anyone who I'm calling right now, but I have a question for you. Okay. All if right. I give you a VIN, can you 
look it up for free? Um, no, probably not for free. No, I don't have any connections like that. But isn't your, I don't want to dox you, but isn't your... Yeah, yeah you'd think, right? You don't? Um, you don't get, like, credits uh, or anything? Not that I've looked into, maybe. Okay. Possible. All right. But, uh, why, are you buying a car? Or? No, I'm trying to track down, so... Chad was asking if I have any regrets. My one regret in life is I sold my 2005 Ford Taurus, and I'm trying to locate it. And if uh, I can, I'm trying to find it. Yeah, if I can find it, then I'll buy it back. Okay. Okay. Um, um, no rush. I just thought of you. I'm like, okay, maybe because of redacted, redacted, you may redact. <laughs> no, I don't think I have any. Not that I know of. I can look though. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. See you, buddy. I'm pretty sure the Carfax won't say who it is. The Carfax on your truck just shows the state it was last owned in. It might have been obliterated. Don't say that. What if they use it for demolition derby? Don't talk about it like that, man. Are you kidding me? Man, if that thing was used in a demolition derby... I don't know how many pictures of it, man. I do have one picture of it. It's a little cringe picture. I could tell you the date. I know where we got rid of it because it's on Instagram. Hold on. It's cringe, chat. It's cringe. It's cringe. But just... 495 weeks ago. 127,000 miles. We gotta get it back, man. Please reply to Matt Gen 25 He deserves it. Where? I got you. Yeah, sure. Whatever I can do to help Matt, just send me a DM with your video. I will take a look. Chad, I would I would give you the VIN, but here's what I here would be my biggest fear. Would be like someone like Tijman buying the car and like painting it blue or something. Dingo, what's going on? Hey man, what's up? Nothing. Hey, just uh Thanks for coming on. Just don't, will you not reveal any personal information about anything? No, you're good. So wait, I got you, man. So we're trying to find my, my biggest regret of my life selling my 2005 Ford Taurus. How, I, I believe you at least have some intel on it. What do you do and how were you able to locate it? Yeah, uh, well, you did say the first three of your VIN. Okay. But um, just looking around on a couple car sales websites and some VIN searches, and I kind of narrowed it down with mileage and year. How did you have access and, to uh, those sites? Are they open to anyone, or is that part of your job? Yeah, they're, they're open. Okay, is that part of your job? No, no. Oh, you're just very resourceful. Yeah, hey, you got to do what you got to do for your... For your, uh, you your know, streamer. Your, uh, yeah. I appreciate it. Okay, so can you... Using your resourcefulness, which by the way, can I ask you, do, do you work, you go to school? Cause I'm gonna tell you this, like someone should hire you if you don't have a job right now, but anyways. No, I'm, yeah, no I work full time and I'm going to school right now for business. What do you, uh, what do you study in business wise or what do you wanna do? Uh, business administration and management. Okay, what's your current job? Um, I'm actually a government contractor, so I'm kinda indirectly working for the government. Okay, 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 I got you. So. So, yeah, I mean, your skills are on point. So can you share without, like, potentially revealing too much, like, what have you found out about the status of the car? Yeah, um, I'm still looking for some more information. I'll give you uh, kind of a narrowed down location when I get it. What have you found so far? Uh, it looks like it was for sale uh, recently. What? Okay, and what, recently, like, someone bought it? Wait, what makes you say that you think it was just recently up for sale? Like, it still could be? It, I think it still could be, yeah, for sure. Holy! Hold on, are you, how are you sending that to me? Uh, hold on real quick. Yeah, um, if this is yours, I'm gonna send you the whole VIN. If this is yours, it's for sale right now. You're gonna send me the DM direct? Uh, I'm short. All right, hold on. Just on... Chat, there's always a way! Man, I like... Uh... Well, cars are kind of my hobby, so okay. I had to help out when I heard you were talking about your car. I got you. Do, uh, like but, a, um, do you have like a car you're working on now, or you got like a... You work on yours? Yeah. Um, I've got a 96 RX-7 FD. Uh, give me the first grade on that. What does that mean? 
It's just a, like a two-door coupe um, Mazda 90s sports car. So it probably looks like, holds up today, like looks cool today. Like one of those that look like, so, yeah. what color? It's all black. Okay. How do you make sure like it doesn't fall apart? Gosh, maintenance and maintenance and maintenance. It's um, a 90s Japanese car, so it falls apart all the time. <laughs> really? But you like buy the parts and fix it and stuff? Yeah. How many How many miles you got on that boy? Uh, about 85,000. Oh, dude, you're, you haven't even scratched the surface on that thing. <laughs> no, this is a 2007 Ford Taurus. This is not it, but close. Mm, okay. okay. My Yours was a four. Can, Chris gifted a tier one can I give you? Dingo. Can I give you the VIN? If it's a help, if I give you the VIN. Subs in the channel. Yeah. Wait, how did you get this Carfax? Um, I have access to a couple just from buying cars and stuff, but um, I'm looking at like four different websites right now, trying to see which one will give it to me for free. Okay, if I give you this VIN, you promise not to share it. No, of course, man. You're you're good. Okay. All right, there it is. All right, man. Okay. Dirtfoot, thank you. Uh, hopefully, we'll circle yeah, back. Give me like 10 minutes. All right, man. See ya. Thank you. Bingo. Don't, no, no. Don't hit me with the Dan bad news. Bingo. Bingo. Hey, Dan. Hey, you got me? Yeah, yeah. Hey, I, I, you sent me a message that says Dan bad news. Come on. Yeah. No, 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 oh, no. I, no, no. Don't, like, like, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being like horrible news. And five being salvageable news. Give me a number on it. Uh, eight and a half. Okay, so you're saying there's a chance. Okay, okay. What did you find? Um, can I tell you what state it's in? Like, condition or border? Like, geographic state. Yeah, you can tell me. So, it is in Michigan. Yeah, let's go! Okay, what's the bad news? Uh, the last report on it is that it was an a in an accident in 2018. Okay. That's it okay. says, um, disabling damage reported. What does that mean? It's, I don't think it's on the road anymore, man. That's okay. Doesn't mean we can't get it on the road, but what does that mean? I mean, you could take a shot and reach out to this guy that owns it, but Do you have I don't the information? know if it's still there. It might... What? what? Chat. 07 to... I got it in like 07. 07 to... I drove it for eight years. Not a scratch on it. Some idiot drives it for two and a half years and gets it totaled? <laughs> well, that's the bad news is it says that it looks like it was... The registration was renewed by the motor vehicle department of Michigan. What does that mean? So I think they may have taken it after an accident and reported it crashed. Okay, well why is the DMV taking the car back? What would be a reason to do that? I think it's done. <laughs> what it, but what do you mean by done? I mean, like if the car's worth like three grand and it got, it looks like it got rear-ended. My small donation to the Taurus Resurrection Fund Dango 7. Good luck, Dan. Okay, it's rear-ended. That's fine. You just changed the bumper out. Throw some duct tape on the axle, but how do we find it? I can send you the um, city that has it. Okay, so it, it still is in possession. I think so. I'm, I mean, I don't know what they would report if they actually like crunched it, but I don't know. Dingo, 07 in chat for Dingo. Dingo, is there any else, anything else we can dig in to actually find it? Let me let me dig a little bit more, but I think this is as far as I can get. Okay, thanks, Dingo. Maybe yeah, man, maybe, anything for you, bud. Maybe if we could find the owner and then call them and ask what happened to it. This is not a bit, chat. If you can locate it, I will buy it. Hey, most likely case it's been totaled, and it has a marked title. There's a chance you could call the DMV with a VIN. And they'll tell you the state of the Taurus. So you're telling me I can call the DMV right now and they'll tell me what's up with it? For real? We'll do it. Please, Eosaurus. But, but if that's not a chance, then we won't do it. Michigan DMV phone number. Is there a main DMV or just call a branch? Thank you for calling the Michigan Secretary of State. 
To access the most current available appointment times, visit our website at michigan.gov slash SOS and select Schedule a Visit. Please have your driver's license number or vehicle registration information ready. Got that. This call will be what recorded for training. What if we say, I'm... Um, Listen carefully I'm, to the following... I'm going to record options. you. Slash SOS and select online services. For new and renewal applications... Or I'm hitting, I'm just hitting zero. Enter the 12 digits of your driver's license... I'm just hitting zero pound, zero pound, please enter, zero pound, please enter, customer representative... Remain on the line and your call will be answered by the next available agent. <laughs> That's all you got to do is mash buttons and you get answers. You mash buttons, you get answers. Oh, baby, we're in. Zero, <laughs> zero hashtag, zero hashtag. Thank you for calling the Secretary of State. This is Angie speaking. How can hey, I help you? Hey, Angie, just want to let you know this call is also being broadcast. I know you're recording me. I just have a quick question for you. I'm trying to track down a um, car that I once owned. I have the VIN, and the last registered is the DMV in 2018. How do I, like, how do I locate it? you guys have it so for that information i would have to get you to record lookup unit okay how do i get you could request a title history okay but it says that um it's it was last registered to the dmv to the dmv yeah it, it like it said on it it says um michigan motor vehicle department um and it's the, the last known owner is the dmv which I don't know why that would be. I'm just trying to find it. What is the VIN number? Yeah, it is. What is the year and make of this vehicle? Uh, 2005 Ford Taurus SE. I don't see this ever being registered to the DMV. I'm showing it has been junked. It's a junk title. Oh, I'm showing here. oh no. What does that mean? Um, junked means that it can never be put back on the road again. Under any circumstance, it can't be like rebuilt. It's usually when they take it to the junkyard um, to be destroyed. Oh, is there any information you could give me on where it was dropped off at? Oh no. Um, that I wouldn't have. No. Okay. Do you know how I could find that? You would have to contact the owner. Okay. On file, and really the only way to figure that out is if you purchase that title history. Okay. How could I do that? Uh, that would be record lookup unit. Okay. I can get you transferred if you'd like. That would be awesome. Do you know roughly how much that is? The record is 15. Okay. And what was your name again? My name is Angie. Angie, thank you so much. I mean, it's really disappointing news, but... Maybe there's still a chance, but thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Hey, how you how you doing today? Hey, I just want to give. Help you? Yeah, hey, I just want to give you a heads up. This is being uh, recorded and uh, broadcast, but I'm trying to find um, my car that was sent to a junkyard. Um, what's the best way to do that? Uh, you'd have to do a record request. They oh. are fifteen dollars sixteen. If you need it certified, and then you'd have to put in the reason part or the explanation part that that's what you're actually looking for so that we know where to go and pull the correct information okay how has it it hasn't been over 15 years for this has it no uh it happened in 2018 okay so you should still be good because we go back 15 years on let's go okay that's so there's a chance here, we, there's a chance yep okay do i do this online or do i Online. Let me get your email. I'll send you the directions. Okay. Uh, it's Dan, D-A-N, at Dan, and then my last name, which is G-H-E-E-S-L-I-N as in Nancy, G.com. Uh, all right. I, Dan at Dan, G-H-E-E-S-L-I-N-G, Giesling. You nailed it. Yeah, you nailed it. Most people don't uh, pronounce the right. last name. Hey. Hey. And mine's worse or harder to do. It's okay. Don't tell me though. Please don't. Yeah, don't 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 tell me. Don't tell me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I, I can't anyway. I can't give you my first. Okay. Yeah, it, it's 
tougher than that one. Okay. All right, I will get these right out to you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. We're in the game, chat. We're in the game. We're in the game. We're in the game. If anyone in chat has access to VIN databases, send me a DM on Discord. This guy is flying too close to the sun. He's going to violate like federal law in the US and get a temporary ban off Twitch for like the most mundane thing of all time. That's too much, man. I mean, if it's in the scrap heap, it's okay, I guess. It is a cube of metal. <laughs> yes, calling out in transit. So true. Radio Free Europe. I probably could tell you like eight words in the whole song, but it's, it's I mean, it's track one, side one off of uh, Murmur. That's a good one. I'm assuming. Let me see. Guess we're doing cubes now. I get that reference. Murmur REM. Let me see here. Side, side one, track one, Radio Free Europe. How about that? Who would have thought? <clears throat> You're popping off in England right now? Yeah, well, I'm not going to be satisfied until... 20 GeoGuessr pros go Hawaii on Iowa, okay? I can pop off in England, but I've never gone Hawaii on Iowa. It was Idaho? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. You have sound, okay. It's a movie from 1980. A little goofy with it. Be honest, we're gonna need some help. Ooh! Hey. Ooh! I know this, dude. I know. I, I know it sounds crazy. I know this. Working nine to five, cause it. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know the stuff, but I, the chorus gets me. Just give it a second. It'll break you if you let it. Yeah, yeah. Not yet, not yet. This is where it kicks in. It'll break you if you let it. Working nine to five. Yeah, yeah. Dolly Parton, nine to five. That's too easy. It's actually too easy. You think I don't know shit about Dabney Coleman, motherfucker? It'll break you if you let it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What movie was that in? I don't know. <laughs> Could be anything. Movie's called 9 to 5. Seems like a stretch to me. So they named, like, the movie after the song or what? Nah, man. Nah, man. It wouldn't catch me. More of like a 10 to 2 sort of guy. Good morning, Jay, by the way. Good morning. Remember when Mike Myers sang that in an Indian accent in The Love Guru? I can't believe I'm saying this, but you're going to have to be more specific. Because that is like... There's like six interludes in the movie where he does that exact same thing. So, <laughs> I don't know if you've seen The Love Guru. It's, it's worth watching if you're like unemployed because it's so bad. And then you could like text your friends while they're at work and be like, Oh my God, have you seen The Love Guru? It's horrible. It's bad enough to watch, for sure. It's actually easy. Monotype ground. I mean, that's Diglett if I've ever seen one. That's the most ground type Pokemon that's ever existed. Dual type ground. Onyx. For some reason that's stuck in my brain, even though he's clearly flying. Um, final evolution. Dual type. It could be, I mean, what about Charizard? Isn't he like fire flying or something? We take those. No evolution. Th this is no shot. I'm just going to tell you that right off the bat. Except I, all I can say is that isn't this where like all the like striking vipers ones come from? Like if you just put, yeah, like walking wake, raging bolt. Okay, raging bolt. No, that, that's a big one for a guy like me. We're learning. How about ground? How about grounding? Gouging fire? Mm. That doesn't look like a ground type to me. That looks like a fire type. Roaring Moon does not look like a dragon type to me. Gourgeist Average. Nah, man. Nah. You wouldn't catch me doing that. I'll tell you that much. Uh, rolling, maybe? Gouging. Lilligant. Hizui. 
Goldengo. Goldengo! You don't remember Latungay? You should. You should. Okay, I'm stalling. New evolution. No evolutionary line monotype should be the easiest thing in the world, man. What about like Mr. Mime? Who the fuck is Mr. Rhyme? Mime Jr.? There's like seven evolutions now? Mr. Mime Galar, okay. Mr. Rhyme. Mime Jr. I've never heard of this in my, in my life. What about Ditto, dude? Ditto's like normal, no evolutions. Oh, <laughs> yes. Final evolution. Iron, Iron Treads. That seems like the final evolution. Oh, but he's probably ground, dude. One second, Iron Treads. And then final evolution, Iron Hands. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Iron Hands isn't from the same ecosystem? They don't evolve. Oh. <laughs> but then how do you get from, how do you get Iron Hands? He doesn't evolve from like a, a Harayama plus an Iron Stone at 6 to 8 a.m. or something? They just exist? I don't mean like in the game. I mean within the world of nature. Because like Pokemon, you're, you start in media res in a world. You didn't fall out of a coconut tree is what I'm trying to say. So do they just appear spawn? They're time traveling robots from the future. Okay, but did, were the robots built or did they evolve from a smaller robot called Hariyama? This should also be easy. Dual type, no evolutionary line. Am I crazy to think that that's just Aerodactyl? That's like a go-to for us. <laughs> Dude, eight on this one is pretty good. That's pretty good. Most common, I was not going to get. Let me, I'm going to scroll down these until I see uh, one that I know, okay? And I know you're not going to believe me, but I don't know any of these. Garganackle is such a foul Pokemon. It's like literally a pillar of salt. Mousehold family of three? <laughs> and there's only two of them? What the hell is Mousehold Family of Three, man? I've never heard of it in my life. There's a baby back there? Oh, sorry, there is a baby. Get behind me. Oh, man. That's so good. What in the Calico Critters is this? I feel like maybe I've heard of Bramblegast. I don't know. There's Mousehold Double Income No Kids. Oh, no, wait, that's Mousehold fucking Family of Four. What in the Kingdom Hearts is this, man? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> I, I'm just trying to figure out they have four normally? What happened to the fourth one, dude? Baby shoes never worn? Did Pokemon become stupid or did I just grow up? Honestly, I think mostly... I can't say that because I don't want to be bullied by teenagers from South America. You're doing fine for yourself is what I would say. I would say that you just keep doing what you're doing, probably. I mean, there were still some fucked up Pokemon in Gen 1, but there wasn't like um, Mousehold, Family of 2, Family of 3, Family of 4. What's the teenagers from South America bit? Anytime one of my Pokédoku clips where I mistype a Pokémon, like thinking that Luxray is dark because he's got like black accents on his fur, uh, there's like a 7,000 like tweet that inevitably comes out that's like, I can't believe people still don't know Luxray is a fucking cat lightning type or whatever. And then I click on the profile and it's always like somebody from Bolivia that is like, I'm 17. Also, minors do not interact with me. Like it's, I'm, I'm just, <laughs> I'm merely observing, okay? I'm merely observing. I'm not passing judgment. Obviously, Pokemon means a lot to a lot of people. I just wish they wouldn't cyber bully me for just, you know, making fun of Pokemon. But it's, it's one of those things that's like, nobody make fun of Pokemon except me. That's Willem Dafoe and Matthew McConaughey. He's like so 
medieval peasant coated. <laughs> like, even with the shirt, this looks like a dude who's like trying to hawk like turnips at the market or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's so good. You buying? Hawk turn. We're Hawk Tua guys. Of course we sell turnips. CBS is for old people, my man. I don't know how to tell you this. Who's going to tell you? American Ninja Warrior is for old people too. The only young coded television show on TV these days is actually. Uh, Jeopardy, which makes no sense. And Bluey. That's right. Bluey is for uh, Tandem Mouse. And possibly Mouse House Family of Three. Mouse House Family of Four is definitely... What's the anti-woke cartoon that they came out with? <laughs> Trying to say that you could only have a family of four if you're uh, right wing. The new norm. <laughs> That's it. That's it. If I had remembered that and tied it together, it could have been elegant, but that's okay. Oh, man. Paw Patrol? Hell no. The polycule will not be watching Paw Patrol. One of the dogs is a police officer. And as a result, that show is not allowed in this house, kitten. This is a bluey polycule, okay? Obviously, somebody didn't come to the daily stand-up today. Titan? Fanfon? I don't know if I could do this, guys. Terminal. Tom Hanks movies. Terminal. Screen, monitor, display. Shit you hack and fall out. Visual interface. Okay, nerd. Tan, cream, fawn, or uh, it's like types of like leather or something. I don't know. I don't know. Um, stuff you wear around your neck. Get rid of gloves and put on. Uh, oh, wait a second. <laughs> So I'm, I'm on to something. A tie, a boa, a buff. Like, these are things you wear around your neck. But then I was also like, corset, boa, gloves, and a fan might be like, I don't know, burlesque props or something. Wow! <laughs> they didn't know it. They didn't think it could be done. How about, uh, there's still something here. Finish. 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 T finish, tie, check, and, and bask? What are homonyms for nationalities? Oh, <laughs> for languages, for languages. Okay. Tan, cream, fawn, types of leather? I don't know. Beige shades, whatever. That was, I'm the mentat today, man. I'm the mentat. Language homophones, I don't know. It just, they, they use that a lot. Like words that sound, words that their alternate pronunciation has a second meaning. Like they, they love that theme in connections. That felt amazing. It's true, it is the same pronunciation. <laughs> I can't explain it. It's like those who can't do fucking coach or whatever. My accent screwed me on that one. I think it's crazy if you play Connections and you're like ESL, you should honestly work for NASA or like at least a jet propulsion laboratory. It's like, I only speak English. Literally 99.99% .99 of all information I've ever consumed has been in English and even still in connections. I'm like, fuck you, man. There's people out here that were born in Dusseldorf that were like, connections took me three minutes today. And I'm like, you're a god, man. Like you, you should, I don't know, you shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be in Twitch chat at least. How do you know JPL? I listened to Richard Feynman's autobiography audiobook in like 2007 once. Good cop, bad cop. Pick up on as a sound. 
pick up on as a vibe. Actress Anna of Ugly Betty, not as much, less. Homophone of five across, fertile area in a desert. Biden's title. Homophone of... Check the vibe. Let's just assume this is... Oh, this is soul. Sense the vibe. That's a tough one today, man. For a guy who doesn't know shit about Ugly Betty, that's a tough one. You don't know Ugly Betty? I didn't understand, like, the premise of the show. Like, the premise of the show offended me as somebody who's a feminist. I was like, what do you mean, Ugly Betty? First off, all women are beautiful. Secondly, America Ferreira is hot. So, like, the show doesn't make any fucking sense. It offended me on, on two different levels. What in the Matilda is this? Kirkland Signature 10-inch chocolate cake filled with chocolate mousse? 10-inch <laughs> chocolate cake filled with chocolate mousse? Eleven ninety nine. We're in the ballpark, brothers. Twelve ninety nine. I do. I do wonder. A lot of people buying cakes from the grocery store. It's one of those things where I feel like I always see, like coolers and coolers full of cakes, and I never see anybody checking out with a cake. Which, I mean, I don't want the cake to begin with most of the time, but it makes me even less likely to buy it. Because I'm like, that cake might have been sitting there for a while. It's a low effort go-to. Can I tell you, and, and again, this is not even from a nu nutrition standpoint. Here's my problem with cakes. As a, as a uh, mouse house family of three, okay? We buy a cake for one of our birthdays. It's usually, I don't know, about this size. Everybody has a slice of cake for dinner, for dessert that night because you're obligated to. I don't care if you're on keto. Like you can say no, that's fine. Don't get me wrong. But like even as somebody who doesn't like cake, I'm like, it's my daughter's birthday. I'm going to have a piece of cake so she knows like I'm celebrating with her, right? So then you end up putting like 60% of a cake back in the fridge. And then the next day, it's nobody's birthday. And then you're like, you have an obligation, you're like, I got to now have like a slice of cake for dessert, like for the next two or three days in a row just to finish this cake. I didn't even really like it that much the first night. And I definitely, there's no like occasion to eat it the second night. So I, I usually, you know, maybe like try to partition it out. But usually we end up throwing out like half a cake or something like that. So what I prefer to do is like if it's somebody's birthday, I would rather just buy like three sick, like single serving desserts from like a cafe or a bakery or something like that instead of one huge like motherfucking cake. Then the night of the person's birthday, they get to have like a sweet, like decadent rainbow cupcake or something like that. And I get, I don't know, some Earl Grey shortbread. My wife gets like a, a, a matcha profiterole or something like that. And then the next day, it's, we have no dessert debt. The dessert debt is, is already been fulfilled because we all got to eat an awesome dessert the night before. Now, if you're a, a mouse house family of four, maybe you're finishing that cake in one or two nights. But I like going to a bakery and being like, you know, give me like, give us eight macarons or something like that. Only eight? I feel like two macarons is like a pretty good dessert, man. So I'm getting a lot, I'm catching a lot of heat over that. <laughs> That's only one bite? No, you, you two bite each macaron, man. That's four bites. That's a good dessert size. 2014, big, pretty big opening for a Universal movie. I mean, it's no Romulus, but... Starring Scarlett Johansson from 2015. It's, a, it's Ghost. No, it wouldn't be Ghost in the Shell. And it wouldn't be... Maybe, no, it wouldn't be Ghost in the Shell. It's too early. This is Lucy. Not Salt. Lucy. The average person uses 10% of their brain capacity. Imagine what she could do with 100%. A woman accidentally caught in a dark deal... 
turns the tables on her captors and transforms into a merciless warrior evolved beyond human logic. <laughs> I've seen it. It's no Matrix, let's put it that way. This sounds so dope. It's actually pretty bad. She, it's The secret about Scarlett Johansson is that she has basically been in two Ghost in the Shell movies. One of them is the Ghost in the Shell remake, and the other one is Lucy. The clips go crazy on YouTube shorts. I, had, I did watch a little bit more of The Matrix last night. No spoilers, but I got past the part where Neo visits the Oracle. Um, and then, of course, the extraction afterwards is a little bit botched because Cypher tipped off the agents, so they cut the hard line. And Mouse goes, what the fuck? And he pulls the curtains to look at the window, but the window is just a fucking brick wall. And then he, he even though he's like 4'8", 106 pounds, he busts out like the biggest case of guns ever and goes like, but he misses like every shot, basically. The movie does slap. It's worth going back. I mean, no, it's not my, it's probably my 100th time seeing The Matrix, but it's uh, like... I haven't, I saw it when it came out and then watched it like 50 times in five years and then haven't really seen it since. To go back as not an 11 year old and watch it, you're actually like, they were fucking cooking with this one, man. Like, it isn't just a movie that's like, whoa, that's cool. Like, it's a fucking sick movie. They're in the damn walls and then. Neo's like, I can't let Morpheus go. And then Trinity like pulls on his legs and they go down the walls and like, they're, they're going like all the bricks are popping off the other side of the wall. Anyway, plus the Kung Fu. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that Lucy is sick. Lucy is pretty bad. I saw that I didn't rewatch the, the first one like four years ago. I rewatched the second one and the third one to figure out where I felt. And I was like, the second one is actually like pretty great too. It's not as good as the first one. And they really, in my opinion, they fuck up the pacing. Cause the first half of the second movie is like lots of uh, conversation. And it gets a little bit up its own ass with like the Merovingian stuff and et cetera, et cetera. But once they start to like, get into the combat. I mean, you got Lawrence Fishburne on the freeway. He slices like a GMC Suburban in half lengthwise, like he's filleting a fish with a, with a katana. It's fucking sick, dude. Now the third one is not great. <laughs> the third one is, is not the, they, cause nobody cares about like the, the city of Zion in the like the the dirty secret about the matrix is that anytime they're not in the matrix you're like put them back in the fucking matrix because all this shit in the city is kind of boring the fourth one the, the, i'm sorry we're stalling big time the fourth one i watched on tv literally day one of salmonella campylobacter so before i even knew what i had so I, I was eating dinner and i was just like i'm really tired i'm gonna go lay down on the couch for a minute and Kate was like, okay. So I turned on the fourth Matrix movie, watched like 10 minutes, passed out in a fever dream, woke up an hour and a half into the movie, I had no idea what was going on. I was like, what the hell, Niobe's here. Then I fell asleep again and like woke up to, they were fighting King George III in like a warehouse. I have no idea what, it, it felt like the movie was like seven hours long. So I, I, couldn't, I couldn't realistically give my opinion on it, I think. An animated comedy adventure family. When others fly out, heroes fly in. But it died at the box office. Starring Ed Harris? This is fucked. When, oh, is this Planes? Planes, Fire and Rescue, huh? That's tough. Did Pixar actually make this? Because, like, I mean, you know I've been at every, like, Disney property that they've ever made. Nobody's put, there's no respect on planes anywhere. Cars, despite being like kind of shitty within the Pixar catalog is like, um, it's been rehabilitated now. 
Radiator Springs Racers goes crazy. They got the Tomator, like uh, the, the Tilt-A-Whirl thing that kind of like flips you around, the Scrambler. People like cars. You can see people walking around with like Lightning McQueen merch on and stuff. Nobody fucks with planes. I didn't know cars had shooters. I know because if you were born in like the era that I was born in, Pixar was like, it was lightning in a bottle and then they made cars and you were like, oh, what happened? Maybe they fell off. Nowadays, people are like classic Pixar movies like Toy Story, Cars. But you just got to, it's a sign of the times, you know? I used to wear an onion on my belt, which was the style at the time, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Who didn't like cars on release? I don't know, motherfuckers like me who were like not 12? Um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Can I, this looks like a Blair Witch game or something like that, but... Did Texas Chainsaw Massacre come out this week or, or last, or sorry, this year or last year? This is how fucked up the passage of time gets when you're older. Was I playing that shit three months ago or 19 months ago? It came out in August 2023. That's so fucked up, man. <laughs> Last year, you played it for like two months. I know. I thought it was like, I was like, damn, that's from like March of this year. The year this is a really long year. I don't think I'm getting any more relevant information, man. Excuse me? It's The Witcher 2, Assassins of Kings. <clears throat> I mean, I played like half the game for sure. I don't think I could be held responsible for not getting that right based on this piece of art, though. If they put, like, one of those ghouls or something, they went like... <laughs> the witch... <laughs> I just like making the noise sometimes. <laughs> good ghoul noise. I, I've been, I got some good ones. Apparently, the Werner Herzog five-second impression, the ghoul noise... Meat wad a little bit. Can I have the mattress today? Fucking deep, deep fucking silver? From deep, dead, dead island? Two? That shit came out last year? <laughs> is you shitting me, man? I, I don't know what it is. Mario. Mar it's Dr. Mario. Killing Floor 2. Oh, it's one of those. No disrespect to the to the game Killing Floor 2. It's one of those games that's like, I just want to click my mouse for a while. It's a goaded game. It's a good-ass game. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I know what you're saying for you. It's sick. It's, I don't even mean this in a negative way at all, but to me, it's like a Sinvicta game. Like, I can picture Sinvicta being like, can somebody put down some barbed wire at the south exit and then like when the torso of a fucking ogre comes through the door it goes like <laughs> isn't it like that isn't it kind of like new metal adjacent actually yes 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 pretty much yes not wrong <laughs> What does it mean? I don't know what it means, but I know it when I see it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Any Canucks in Pukdoku today? Doesn't look like it. Uh, we'll move on to Movie Grid then. Killing Floor 2 was always also in like the top five games that, that people would suggest to Team Unity when we were like, we don't know what to play. Number one was always Payday, but I think the release of the new Payday game has like torpedoed the brand value of the entire franchise. But Killing Floor 2 was definitely up there as well. So you're sick of Call of Duty Zombies. You think it's like a little boring to just mow down like mindless enemies over and over? Well, what about like the exact same game, but you could like pay 50 bucks to do it again? No disrespect. I mean, if you like it, you like it. But you just gotta, I got trauma associated with it, okay? You're right. This doesn't say ignore the. So couldn't we just do like the notebook? They take it. She's got to be in some shit with the. She's in Anaconda. She's in um, Made in Manhattan. She's in The Wedding Planner, which also starts with the fucking T, I guess, but that works. We'll take those. 
They didn't know. They didn't, they didn't know what to do with him, man. What are they doing with him? That's not Matthew McConaughey, man. It is, but it's not. They didn't know what to do with him. It's a fake poster. It's a real fucking movie for sure, but... The highlighted streaks. Yeah, it's just not like the, the very, very mid-2000s glasses. And then, uh, I mean, Whiplash is the gimme. All the Spider-Mans are like, the amazing Spider-Man. Spider-Man, no way freaking home. It's in uh, Real Steel or something? I don't know. Let's just say Whiplash. I'll live with it. Nine out of nine. Feels good. First one is called Spider-Man. My dumbass was about to say he's not in that one. <laughs> I had I I got confused with the it you know why I got confused well because I'm old is one but then secondarily because he's in the new ones as well he plays the Alex Alex Jones character in like the newest Spider Man movie so I thought he couldn't possibly be from the old ones as well would you say you fucking fucker you've gone too fucking far you fucking ass you come around here saying that shit you fucking fuck I'll beat your ass you fucker listen you son of a bitch. What the fuck's your problem? You want to sit here and say that I'm a goddamn fucking Russian? You get in my face with that, I'll beat your goddamn ass, you son of a bitch. You piece of shit. You fucking goddamn well, fucker. Listen, fuckhead. You have fucking crossed the line. Get that through your goddamn fucking head. Stop pushing your shit. You're the people that have fucked this country over and gang raped the shit out of it and lost an election. So stop shooting your mouth off claiming I'm the enemy. You got that, you goddamn son of a bitch? Fill your hand. I'm sorry, but I'm done. You start calling me a foreign agent. Those are fucking fighting words. Excuse me. You ever see that video? <laughs> oh, man. It gets me every time. You fucking fucker. You motherfucker. You fuckhead. Oh no, I've been demonetized. They will never keep me down. I'll just use the fucking Skynet AI to overwrite all the swearing with like Mountain Dew advertisements or something. <laughs> you get in my face with that little, I'll beat your goddamn ass, you son of a bitch. You fuck, you fucking fucker. Pigsty, a noun meaning pig pen. 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 Pigsty, Pigsty, a noun meaning pig pen. 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 It kind of goes. Pigsty, a noun meaning pig pen. Big tan hands in a hoop. Canada. Yeah. A geographical name meaning country of northern North America between the Pacific, Atlantic and Arctic Oceans, they got them all. including Newfoundland and yep. the Arctic Islands north of the mainland, and sharing a nearly 4,000 mile, more than 6,400 kilometer Thank you. border with the U.S. It's a big one. An independent state within yep. the Commonwealth of Nations, capital Ottawa area, 3,855,103 square miles, yeah, yeah, 9,984,670 square kilometers, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. population 35,882,000. Maybe two years Canada. ago. Canada. Can you use it in a sentence for me? She really read the whole Wikipedia article, huh? Grapheme, a noun meaning a unit, such as a letter or digraph of a writing system. Okay. Grapheme. Examen. A noun meaning examination. The word originates from Latin. You tried to fuck me. There's some, there some Latin chicanery in ex examen. I did think it was like... Politesse. A noun meaning formal politeness, decorousness. The word is from... Yes! Thank you, Barbara Tuckman! Unsportsmanlike. Okay, that's... A adjective meaning not characteristic of... That's a denouement? Glaswegian. Ooh, A geographical Glaswegian. name. Hmm, 15 of 15 today? Nothing wrong with that, man. Is it really said Glaswegian? I just feel like there would... Maybe that is the Scottish way to say it, but I feel like there would be like a Scottish way to say it. Because it's spelled Edinburgh, but it's pronounced Edinburgh. I, I, in the shower this morning, I thought of another guy that would be funny, by the way. 
What about like a, a, a Canadian guy who thinks that it's called Parmesan cheese? Like he gets some spaghetti, maybe even some pizza getty at like a La Clumon restaurant. And then he says like, hey, can I get some Parmesan cheese? <laughs> I think it could be funny. Hey, hey, where are you going? You forgot my Parmesan cheese. What's pizza getty? Cheese pizza, cut it in half, fill the middle with spaghetti, put tomato sauce on top of it. It's a French Canadian classic. I do not eat it because it's fucked, but like it's, <laughs> it does exist. That is a food that is real. It's actually good. Of course, it's good. how could it not be good? It's two good foods that are just touching, but like, it's more like, why does it exist? This is like a, a tortilla soup, man. This is, no, this is not a tortilla soup. This is bacon cheeseburger soup. This is from the United States, right? Slopper. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh. Let's go through the tail of the tape on the slopper, man. Oh. Sloppers are usually eaten with utensils thanks to their messy nature. Oh, really? <laughs> I would say that... That looks self-evident to me based on the, the way that it fucking is and looks. I don't think I'm digging into that with my hands. Oh, what is this, man? So it I, it's, consists of one or two cheeseburgers served with open face buns smothered in green chili sauce. So it's, they took the top bun off a burger and then just like pour a bunch of chili sauce on it. I mean, it's probably not bad. It, it looks pretty tasty. Slopper is a fucking vile name, though. Yeah, go, go. Go, go. If you go to Colorado with your love interest, please do not order a slopper, okay? Just get, I don't even know, like an acai bowl or something like that. Do not get a... Do not get a slopper... A, a flying Dutchman with no... A slopper with no chili sauce might even be even worse, okay? This is fucked. Water, ice jelly powder, brown sugar syrup. What am I looking at, man? What am I looking at? This I can't eat this shit. I don't know if my body knows what to do with it. This shit's going to get to my pipes and they're going to be like, we don't know what to do. We're just shutting this shit down, man. It's freaking me out. Why is the, the bottoms above the top? How'd you get the beans above the frank? I mean, this doesn't look that bad. This just looks like, uh, I mean, it looks like a, the world's most fucked up. Like, it looks like Bibimbap if it was invented in Los Angeles. But like, I mean, I, listen, I see... Jelly powder. I see, like, it, it kind of looks like boba a little bit. So you got me thinking that Taiwan's in play. If not Taiwan, China. Okay, this is Bing Fen. I can't look at this image. This image is freaking me the fuck out, man. This just does... I, I, that's not real. This is from the... Yakuza series of video games like it does it, it, do, it looks like the abyss you're absolutely right this is one of the most common Chinese exports what the no it's not man hide allow sure hide allow getting a lot of we're getting a lot of hot pot for sure we're not fucking with Bing Fen Bing Su maybe we'll fuck with some Bing Su but that's Korean they used to export that shit to Silent Hill. <laughs> oh, man. It is making me uncomfortable. Fry sausage slices with onions, garlic, and tomatoes until softened. Add tomato paste. <laughs> Salt, pepper, turmeric, and occasionally ground chili for heat. Cook until it's well blended and thickened. Garnish with parsley or green peppers if desired. It was not desired here. Serve hot with bread or rice. Apparently, that's optional. It kind of looks like currywurst, which has me thinking this could be like 
Central Europe? That's cool. It's not even close, man. I have no idea. I just feel like it's a little crazy to just cut up a whole tomato. Like, sometimes you'll get, like, a curry and they'll give you, like, a little wedge of tomato or something like that. But, like, the whole side, the side dish just being, like, a raw tomato is kind of crazy to me. I'm, I'm going to take it to Turkey and then maybe we'll just get, like, an arrow or something. It borders, it's Iran. Sosis Bandari. I feel like I just learned a little Farsi. Suddenly the slopper ain't looking so bad. I mean, the slopper is a little... I think if I was in Pueblo, Colorado, I would try a slopper at least, but this looks better than a slopper, I think. I'm not, I think, I mean, I'm not trying to judge them culturally speaking. I don't mind a tomato. I think they could work on the side dishes a little bit here. And definitely, I think this would look a lot better if you had it like on top of rice or something like that. But shit food day. What was the second one? Oh, yeah. It was kind of like three video game foods. You're not wrong. It's a tough one today. 11,000 average. The slobber. Ice soup. And uh, tomato hot dogs. It's a wild world we live in. So this is uh, John Ratzenberger and Kathy Najimi, which has me thinking our ass is in like Toy Story 3 or something. Fred Willard, brother, we're in like, we're in a Pixar movie. Ben Burt, Alyssa Knight, Fred Willard, John Ratz. <laughs> ben Burt? There's no, nobody's talking in Wally, -E, idiot. What else do they make? <laughs> Um, I'm sorry, it doesn't, it doesn't exist. Wally does not exist. What, what is this little icon? What is that, man? Reg X is cooked, man. I haven't seen Wally in a lot, but it's good. I can't believe, yeah, that guy voiced Wally and got top billing. Dude was in the studio for four seconds. Wow. Apologize to the chatter you called an idiot. I was calling myself an idiot. When I typed Wally, I was like, nobody fucking talks in Wally, you idiot. I was being self deprecating. What World Heritage Site lies about 250, 250 what southwest of Alice Springs? It's called Ayers Rock, also known as Uluru. <laughs> He's ninth grade music pilled. Sensational Fix was a 2008 traveling exhibition of visual and auditory art by what aging 100% punk band? The Clarsh? Sonic Youth, Sonic Youth. I see Teenage Riot, it's Sonic Youth. Remember when Apollo was talking about how much he hated a cool thing by Sonic Youth? And then I kept asking him literally any piece of information that he could tell me about Sonic Youth, and he kept running away from me in Lethal Company? It's not my favorite song to play in a rock band, don't get me wrong, but I mean, you gotta put some respect on Kim Gordon and Thurston Moore and the rest of them. Because I, I was the asshole who paid for the DLC to get Teenage Riot in Rock Band 2 or Rock Band 3. And then I was like, you guys got to listen to this song. You're going to love it. It's one of the best songs of the 80s. And then you realize that on the plastic instruments, it's just eight minutes of like... Like it just never ends, man. It's not even good on vocals because it's the, just the same melody over and over, but it's a great song. It's like when Rock Band, was it Rock Band 3 that had Tangled Up in Blue on it? And I was like, you guys aren't ready for this. <laughs> Seven minutes later, I'm like, uh, then he started into dealing with slaves and something inside of him died. 
she had to sell everything she owned and then froze up inside and everyone is like, oh, how much longer can this go on for, man? I think that might have been one of those songs you only play once or twice in the game. I'm at Dave and Buster's <laughs> failing clips of Dover six times on max volume. With a fucking guitar probably doesn't work, right? Like the red button doesn't work or something, so your max streak is like three. Shit's all sticky because some 35-year-old asshole spilled like his Long Island iced tea right in the strum bar. Anyway. <laughs> Is there any... I don't know if you guys have had this experience, but many people will have at least had this experience and that unites us. We played in like a rock band charity tournament in university and it's one of like the most soul destroying moments of all time because we played so much rock band at our like off campus house. We were dialed. We were good. Okay. We we're expert on everything like 95 plus expert on everything. Gold stars on many things. We went to the charity fundraiser thinking we were going to rip it up. Realized that they weren't using like a screen. They were broadcasting the game via like an overhead projector to a, a screen that they pulled down from the ceiling. So we started playing first and missing like every note. And we were like, whoa, 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 just wait, the latency's off. So then like the whole theater is just watching us go through like the press the, the button every time you hear the click shit and then like press the button every time you see the line. And then we like did the calibration for like two minutes and we're like, okay, it's good. It's good to go. Then we started it back up and it was still fucked. And we just like had to make the best of it. Oh, you could hear like. We came in third. Some people managed to deal with the sink somehow, but. 1997, the same year as the first Men in Black movie. I understood that reference. <laughs> that was me watching Love on the Spectrum. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> Maybe they're right, man. So watching this, I was like, I don't think that I'm on the spectrum just because I walk on my toes. Then that motherfucker says, 1997, Men in Black came out that year. And I went, oh. Oh, I need to talk to a doctor. <laughs> Fuck, man. Ever tell you the first time I went to the yard house? Of course I got a yard of beer. Um, it was PAX, I'm going to say 2013. Uh, mid, and you got to remember I'm Canadian, okay? So this is like Labor Day 2013. Halfway through eating lunch, uh, a bunch of people dressed in blue and orange with a horse on their shirt and their hat and their back and their pants and uh, like a cape and stuff like that. They had like drums and flags. They, they like invaded the restaurant. I don't know how else to describe it. Banging drums and stuff. And they're going, Boise State, Boise State. And they just kept and then there was like they took up like 20 tables in the restaurant I guess it was like week one of college football. So I was like, man, this is fucking wild. And then we were like, that's kind of cool. Then later in the day, we saw a bunch of people just walking around downtown Seattle with Boise State fit on, but like a forlorn look on their face. And then we like looked up the score and they got the bricks blown off them that morning. But it's about the experience. I still had a, a nice lunch, I'm imagining. <clears throat> The highs and lows of college sports fandom. Centrifuges. <laughs> Germany? I think Germany loves making machines. One thing we've learned here. Oh! Thank you, Mr. Westinghouse. Thank you, Siemens. Um, I, I mean, I have to assume that the United States would be like in the, in the conversation here. Okay, following that, things get a little interesting. I, I got to give some respect to China and their manufacturing capacity. Okay, we've got a rare potential like platinum level pick five today. I'm going insane. No, the Netherlands. Oh, 
<laughs> Sweden. We eked over the line for gold. Japan and Poland. Poland, I never would have gotten, probably. Japan, I, I could see myself getting. I think that might be the first gold I've ever gotten in, in pick five. I honestly don't know what they export in Sweden. Because, like, all of my foundation, what I consider to be my anecdotal knowledge of exports is entirely based on food. <laughs> so if it was, like, you know unleavened flatbread, I would be like, fucking number one, we're probably going to go, I don't know, like Iran or something. Number two, I'm going Sweden because they'd be shipping the Rai Vida and the, the Kanakabra, the Vasa, like all the way across, all the way over here, man. Departments at a home improvement store. I'm in those from time to time. Automotive. What? <laughs> I know it's a home improvement store. I've never been in a home improvement store that doesn't carry, like, soap for your car or windshield wiper fluid or antifreeze. Are they joking? <laughs> this is crazy, man. I can't believe it's not on the... Even Home Depot's got this shit, man. Uh, appliances. That's fucked. Bathroom stuff. Plumbing, sorry, plumbing, plumbing. Lighting, kind of electrical, but not really electric. Oh my, lighting is correct, but you've already guessed it and you gave me, no, 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 electrical and lighting are two different things. Lighting is an aisle illuminated to like 50,000 lumens with chandeliers and LEDs. Electrical is sometimes it's like little stuff that you like switches and uh, like diodes and shit like that. This is bullshit, man, this is European. This is a European home improvement store. It should be called a flat improvement store because in, in North America, the store's got all this shit. Things are getting tough, guys. Let me think about this. You walk in, pest seasonal. That's bullshit. You get like Halloween decorations in, the, in September. You can get Christmas decorations in November. You can get like, you know, Canadian flags and shit close to the end of June. You're fucking out. You don't know. You've never been inside of one. You haven't lived, you haven't lived the way I've lived in here. Sporting goods, suck my, you know what, <laughs> barbecues, pest control, you have no, paint, paint, paint is a given, okay, we get, we get there with paint, <laughs> shelves, fuck, <laughs> What did we miss, man? Patio. Uh, okay, sure. Patio, I'll take the L on. Kitchen. Kitchen is like we accidentally created like a blind spot. Because kitchen is like electrical, plumbing, appliances. They were giving me like X's on, on those. Cabinets. I, if, if cabinets had been one of these, I would have been like, I, I absolutely take the L on cabinets. You shouldn't concede on patio. I was going to say outdoor, but then in my head, I already said garden. So I was like, maybe that's a wasted guess. So that's, I, I think patio is kind of fair, but I don't, I honestly don't think Eruptal is actually doing the due diligence. I think Eruptal is coming up with 10 answers on chat GPT every day and feeding them into the, the web app. And I think that it's working to the disadvantage of it as a, uh, as a dull, to be honest with you. You need some level right now, at least, of human vetting in order to make sure that it, it works in the spirit of how it's supposed to be. Hey, brother, I'm the Eruptal creator. Those are initially created by ChatGPT, given a prompt. Then I vet them and manually adjust them before uploading and manually adjust alternative spellings throughout the day if there's any reports of missing items. But since each day is bespoke, it's never going to make everybody happy. Very happy to see you playing the game. Let me know if you have any suggestions. Also, why don't you use hints? Okay, well, I don't use hints because I'm a legend. Thank you for your comment, by the way. I do appreciate getting a peek behind the curtain, though. That makes sense. Because, like, I don't... It's not your fault. What I want to do is I want to grab Chad GPT by the collar and I want to say, listen up, you robot. Come with me for a walk through the Home Depot and then tell me 
that electrical and lighting are the same fucking section of the hardware store because they are not. Electrical is in the walls up to the switch. Lighting is a, a bulb that emits energy as visible light on the spectrum. Okay? They Because Chad GPT, it's got an incredible breadth of knowledge, but has it ever felt the unbrushed concrete of a Home Depot floor beneath its feet? I don't think so. Has it ever cracked a joke about walking into an aisle that sells caulk guns? I don't think they have. I don't think they have. And as a result of that lack of experience, there are things where even if it's confident that it knows everything, its knowledge cannot touch because it doesn't have hands. Never forget that. That's how I feel about self-driving cars. I know, how is a self-driving car gonna know that if you've been waiting for one entire song at an intersection because the person in front of you has a stop sign, but they have a stop sign leading onto a busy thoroughfare and they're trying to turn left? Buddy, buddy, we're gonna be waiting here all day for you to turn left. You weren't supposed to turn left on this road. You were supposed to go two blocks up then you turn left because there's a traffic light that goes every 35 seconds where you actually get an opportunity. Instead here, you got to line up with 20 cars behind you because you can't be fucked to make three rights instead. Get a life. Holy shit. I'm in. Oh, you already had me. I was already in. Yeah, how about some violin? I'm out. That's a fucking sick song, dude. That is a sick fucking song. Oh, really? Thank you, Angry Video Game Nerd! Oh. <laughs> We're kind of hot on the dolls today. H-O-T-T-O-D-L-E or something? I don't know. She doesn't want me to mention it. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Justin, why'd you say like uh, a guy who's making a video about Star Wars going woke? <laughs> you, me? You're like, what's up? What's <laughs> up? Bad news, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the new Jedi's a woman. Again. <laughs> oh, Our petition has failed. I, uh... No shade to Star Wars guys, but I'm so glad I'm not a Star Wars guy. <laughs> yeah, I hear that. It's nice. That sounded like a lot of shade. Uh, you it said no much. shade, but I think that that was a lot no, of shade. I said no regardless. shade, so it's, all, it's fine. It's, oh, it cancels out regardless? Yeah, I could have said funny? anything. Because I'm also not a Star Wars guy, and I agree with you, but I actually mean the shade, I think. like. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I, I'm not going to say no shade. I'm just going to say shade. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to say shade I, like they did in the shame, big, but it's shade. shade. Dude, yeah. it's like one of the most shade. evil things I've ever said, I think. I, like, I think oh, Star I'm Wars muted. is fine. You this know, is like, such I think a good it's got bit. some good movies and stuff. I think it's chill. Oh, well, I, was, the... I, I was thinking about this at Disneyland, and I have to apologize because I think this is one of the most evil thoughts that's ever entered my head. Uh -huh. But I feel like it's so funny to me that Star Wars 1970s fandom is like super nerds. And then Star Wars fandom 2024 is also super nerds. But it, it went from like the kinds of nerds who were like, were like computer engineers and like board game players and stuff like that to like the kinds of nerds who are just like, will slurp up anything that, as long as it has a lightsaber in it. Like it went, nerds it went from anything. like engineering nerds to like Funko Pop nerds. There was a little window in the middle where kind of like everybody was into it, like 1995 to like maybe 2016 or something like that. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I, was, <laughs> I thought I was, I was muted. I was, 
I was writing a Discord message. Well, I mean, you were muted while I was talking, which implied that you wanted to interrupt me anyway. So then you unmuted to interrupt me. That is true. Way, that is true. That is so cool. So, like, I respected it, honestly. Like, I was, like, not even annoyed. I was like, ah, he, he really wants to get this bit out there. Because so, it's like, an <laughs> evil thought. Yeah, it's an evil thought. So please, please do remember that it will show the password as you type yeah, it. Yeah, my game is hidden. Okay, bad to worse. I ordered ramen. I didn't don't they have no uh, chopsticks, so I'll be right back again. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, uh, he, he didn't specify. Except, well, <laughs> maybe that guy was onto something. Yeah, yeah. Turns out maybe the guy who runs a restaurant knows uh, some problems with the Uber Eats app. What about uh, Uber Beats? Dude, <laughs> you get someone to come to your house to beat you off. Yeah. Yes, yes. yes. Or kick your ass. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no. You can walk on me. Maybe. <laughs> oh, I'm so clanking. Probably in like 10 years, we'll all be working for Uber Beats. So yeah. let's laugh right now while we can. Yeah, sure, oh, sure. dude, I'm I'm a pro. I can't wait to live in fucking like Uber City. Dude, my ass is going to look like Tim Roth at the end of The Incredible Hulk. He has one, on. one arm that's a lot bigger than the yeah, other one. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the, with the Uber Beats Extra. Oh, he's got the, the wank pass. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. revisit an old idea, which is a, uh, a white glove hand job service. Uh -huh. Like, a, yeah, like yeah. I show up at your house in like a tuxedo. Like a, like yeah. a chauffeur. Like a I, little I, bottle I of water and stuff. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And I jack you off. It'd be so funny to order a random person to your house to just jerk you off. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's really funny. Like as a prank? No, it's just. <laughs> I don't. I'm Dude. not being. I'm not joking. I just don't get it. Order into oh. somebody else's house to jerk them off. No, just like order in a hand job is kind of funny to me. Like getting someone to come to your house to do something you can just do, is funny. <laughs> Man discovers prostitution. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I can't. I can't like fuck myself. Ah, uh, brother, that attitude. <laughs> what, what the hell is a chalice, man? Am I crazy? Wait, sorry. Someone in my chat said I learned recently they have they have those in Japan, and it's called the delivery health. You mean like <laughs> jacking off? Oh, white glove jack off service. Really? Beat the punch. I hope they don't punch me. A lot of people like that, which is really funny. That's true. Getting punched? Well, it's like, I think they get, like, aroused, and then they're almost at the moment of climax, and then the person just starts, oh. like, boxing the shit out of their nuts. <laughs> I like, have <laughs> seen, I have seen that, that video. Just of, doing, like, God. speed work on their yeah. balls. Yeah. That's yes. so funny. There was that video a while back. <laughs> just, like, picturing it. I just remember a guy coming mid-uppercut. Basically, <laughs> I have not seen that one. Uh, I you know I don't think I've seen that, but I just saw it in my yeah head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah. But I'm picturing yeah, like I his, have seen it now. You know, like in Rocky when he gets hit and you can see like the spit flying out of his mouth. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so like it gets exactly popped like in that. the in the nuts <laughs> and you can see the cum come out of his dick. Remember a girl jerking him off, punching him in the balls. And I was just like, this is fucked up. <laughs> Going from a sponsored segment to this is fucking whip. Oh, <laughs> so funny. Okay, could you split that VOD? Oh, <laughs> uh... You said in the starting time, that's it. So used to the, the boilerplate like talking points, which is like, please don't talk about COVID-19 during this. and yeah, then Or politics. Yeah, you didn't say anything about orgasm denial. You said nothing about getting punched in the nuts so hard you come. <laughs> <laughs> so true. I do always feel like it must be kind of shocking for the reps when they're like watching most people do a sponsored stream and it's like, oh, cool, I'm going to pick up like this sword and go over here and kill this goblin. Whoa, <laughs> the sword does so much damage. And then like watch somebody else's and they're like, it's not gay to get pegged. <laughs> Unless it's a guy <laughs> with a strap on. <laughs> I mean, I mean I get, they if, a, know what they're if a girl with a strap on fucks you in the ass, that that's heterosexual sex. There's I don't get those conversations in your ass that when pushed, it feels good. Like I, I really do feel like I'm missing out, about man. That. I'm so missing out. It's just like a. It's literally like a button. Like you press it, literally. Beep boop. <laughs> 
Why are you guys so fucking quiet suddenly? Like, I don't understand. Not, like, what? Hey, I've never done it. I have the same, uh, like, I don't He's know, opinion. I have the same behavior as Justin, which is just like, it's mm -hmm. just never come up. It just hasn't happened, dude. I think I'd have to, like, put something on my calendar that's like, today is the day. I also, I don't know, like, I, I have an addictive personality. If, if you're telling me to put a button inside my ass, I have to push the comb. I'm, I'm going to wear that thing out, man. He's, oh, all his it, cucumbers it, it, it are broken in half. Some, <laughs> some time onto the procedure, for sure. That's no doubt about oh, that. Oh, man. man. I can't. Because it is, like, it's annoying. Like, I would not recommend it if you're just trying to get in and out. Oh, you you're know? still like, talking about, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's still going on this. Yeah. yeah, I see. Yeah. It's a lot of work. Yeah, no, I, I, I and, usually and so, feel like I don't have much time. Yeah, I got a the busy house. The problem is that, like, you, you, like, your effort is proportional to the reward you get. So if you don't do a good job, you just end up wasting a lot of time and effort mm. for, like, no benefit. Mm. Yeah, do I want search great. or master burglar? So it's not so much a button as much as it's like a, like a fighting game combo. On yeah, that's kind of... <laughs> And you have to hit the combo, otherwise it's not that. Well, I don't know. It's it's like rolling a slot machine, man. Sometimes you hit the jackpot and you have no idea why. That's Maybe cool. that's scary to me. Do that. No, I, it is <laughs> like weird for sure. Yeah, I would hate to like like yearn <laughs> for 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 that nut that got away. Hey, man. Know? You know what? There's more and more things that you can buy to just do that for you. That's crazy. Sorry, someone said, wait, is he talking from experience and it's the funniest fucking message? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's just imagining. Oh, it. Yeah, no, he just he's just, this. yeah, he's, yeah. Oh. Why is the egg they put in ramen so good? Is it the soy egg or is it just like a, like a straight up Dude, soft boiled? Eggs are just good. It's eggs fuck. Yeah, they're great. That's the one thing, like, whenever I think about it, I'm like, I don't think vegan would be too hard for me. I'm not really a cheese guy. I could, I, you know, I like meat, but I could do without meat. It's eggs that would fuck me up. I it's the whole eggs. package for me. Yeah, it's the whole shebang. <laughs> it's the whole shebang. <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. Yeah, I'll I just eat less, them. I'll just eat less meat. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah. I mean... All of the vegan things that would not count, like, for vegetarian, Yeah, yeah. I mm. love them all. Eggs, milk, cheese, gelatin. Cheese. Yeah, yeah, cheese. That's now, great. all of that is just like the best foods. Vegan, exactly. it would be a stretch for me. Vegetarian's pretty easy. I don't think it's, yeah, I don't think it would be that hard. Vegetarian. You just like put a can of beans into everything you normally eat <laughs> and then just kind of send it. A lot of chickpeas, a lot Dude. of black beans, you're vibing. We, we make burritos like maybe once every other week and I put like two cans of black beans in there. I am. After like eating it for two days in a row, I am destroyed. Really? Like your guts? <laughs> I am. Yeah, I am just yeah, being, ripping being ass like nonstop, that. man. I don't really get that. Same, same. I feel like I've been like uh, blessed with uh, an internal system that like can really just get rid of whatever I give it. You know? Oh, I get rid of it. Without any fuss, I mean. There's no fuss. There's no fuss involved. It's a fussless process. Me. Something's wrong with my body, cause like, uh, you already knew that, obviously, but like, from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m., I don't break wind, and then 2 p.m. to bedtime, I'm wind. I'm either in a constant state of farting or having to fart, but not farting, cause like it That's wouldn't wild, be nice. Man. That is wild. What? You just let them go, bud. Well, if I could be confident that. It would be a whisper. I do, but oh, uh, I do every time my mor during my morning pee routine. I I I let it all out. I just don't. It's, I haven't generated that kind of gas early. It's it's crazy. I got like a like a fifteen to twenty second long fart every morning. That's crazy, <laughs> man. I can't even imagine. I'm like a yeah, bubble I, when I wake up. I just I don't feel like I fart a whole lot. Very rare well, I, this is just for perspective, like I, and and because it's funny. I'm not trying to be gross. It's just real, okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I pick up my daughter from daycare around like four o'clock. Mm. It's a six minute drive, and I could easily fart three times every single <laughs> drive. So it's like I hit a traffic light and I let out like an eight second fart, and then that just like so repeat funny. that three times. <laughs> and that's I I, then I Google like. 
how much farting is okay and it's like the average person farts like seven times a day and i'm like i'm dying <laughs> but that shit is in my google search history from like 2009 so obviously God, i'd be damn. dead already if my shit was that fucked that's true that's true <clears throat> damn you know i uh i do think i fart a lot in my sleep oh you get it out. <laughs> yeah. he's a sleep farter i'm a sleep farter i think because i just i like not that i'm like sitting here like fucking shaking like i'm holding farts in but i do typically <laughs> i do deny a fart if it shows up oh, yeah, I'm, pi I'm picturing that now <laughs> just sitting here fucking turning blue and like yeah convulsing because i have to fart so bad and then really people kind of act like you're the asshole like if you fart well I, thankfully i think we've gotten to the point where like my wife understands that it's torture for me to never fart Oh my God. Like it, it builds up in your colon and it starts to like hurt your stomach and ass. You should not be holding it in for sure. <laughs> like, <laughs> why are you following me? I'm not. Oh, why are you cutting me off like this? Shit. <laughs> okay, goat. Yeah. You didn't. You're a clanker that I used to know. Yeah. Did you yeah. see the tweet that was like, why did I read this in his voice? And it's a picture of Gautye. And then the tweet is, you can get addicted to a certain kind of sandwich. Uh, I thought that, that it, it, it got a chuckle out of me this morning. You know what? Clank my ass up hard. <laughs> That's originally the, the joke of the tweet. Listen, I'm not going to litigate that. They can work that out amongst themselves. I just laughed, okay? Did Game of Thrones, like, successfully make dragons cool, but then immediately uncool in, like, the span of, like, four years? Mm, that's a good question. Our dragons kind of like, always been a little cool, though. And well, a little so uncool? I, I, well, yeah. that's what I mean, I think if you said dragons were cool before, people would be like, okay, nerd. But then Game of Thrones would be like, yeah, dragons. But now that it ended, like, ass, it's, like, back to, like, ah, shut up, nerd. Here's the way I think about it, okay? If I'm, like, playing a video game or watching a movie and a dragon shows up, I'm like, fuck yeah. But if like I was uh -huh. in college and I went to a girl's dorm room and she had like a poster of a dragon on the wall, <laughs> I'd be like, get out, man. That's, that's a bad portent. Yeah. <laughs> Are you picking up on the vibe that I'm putting yes. down? Oh, a secret tone. Hmm. I don't know. I'm trying to decide if that's, if that's sexist or not. Well, if it was a guy with a <laughs> like dragon on his wall, we'd be like playing warhammer or something that's fine <laughs> okay he, he leaned in he leaned in okay. so you wouldn't play warhammer with a girl <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't play warhammer <laughs> with me because i'm a misogynist <laughs> <laughs> You probably could name more women than any living person alive, I think. Living person alive? Uh, than any fine. living man, than for any sure. living person alive. I don't know. I think you'd beat a lot of women, too. Excuse me, sir? <laughs> Jesus. I didn't think it was that bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. I knew I was going to get clanked on you. Yeah, I, I, burn, I burn for that one. He's gained the ability to delete a card from his deck. Bam, stumble, gone. Oh, go he drew a stumble in the same turn. He was this able to motherfucker. It. <laughs> I hate him so fucking much. Who, me? He was able to snatch the artifact right from his hand. And can you explain to the rest of the audience why it's so important to be above ground when you get to the end game of a game of Clank? Hmm. Well, there, Ryan, on the end of the game, uh, if you're still below ground, uh, when the dragon kills you, you do get knocked out permanently, losing all of your items and points in the process. So it's really important for these players to get above ground before they perish. Thank you. And with that, something to ponder while you watch this video from our sponsors, the Saudi Arabian government. Take it away. <laughs> oh, that's good. Love that, love that well one-two punch there. Well yeah, that was good, that was good. That was good where, where did that cadence come from?
television. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, uh, I fucking hate that shit so didn't much. They used to the, talk the, like that in like high voices because that's what sounded <laughs> better on the old microphones, right? Is that oh. what it, it's like? The, the they used to talk like cadence. this because the the microphones were too shit. So if you talk too low, it didn't pick you up or something. Oh. I don't know. But why yeah, why do they have to talk with that cadence? The high end if you just talk like this. <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. I'm gonna do that from now on. Like, didn't didn't they do that in like a wasn't that like a Charlie Brooker thing where he like <laughs> he like did like a, a whole like like uh you know like what they would do on like the news like a story and he'd like and now I slowly walk towards the camera. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. technology. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Anything yeah. more? To, what is he saying? Oh, but I don't know. Who knows, man? Okay, here we go. We stumbled. Ryan's like, what do you mean? That's tiptoe? <laughs> but then we sneak. <laughs> you see the tweet that was like, uh, I hate taking one edible because it makes me walk like Roger from American Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. Okay. Paula, what does this guy in my chat mean when he says, isn't it crazy donkey fucked a dragon? Oh, Shrek, brother. Shrek? Why'd you come after me for that, though? Well, I didn't know if anybody else here would know shit about Shrek, honestly. I have never seen you it. You sure it was about Shrek? Because you didn't know it was Shrek when you asked the question, so... Are you no. implying oh, you didn't fuck. think he anyone me else out. was gonna know? <laughs> he sussed <laughs> me out. <laughs> so I set it up to you so that you could answer Shrek, and then I could go back to the chatter and say, you're still talking about Shrek, dude? You're 31 years old. <laughs> but you saw through my ruse. Oh, dude. The epic ruse. The ruse discoverer. The epic ruse discoverer. You know what? What's that? Like Sounds a like the first guy who went know. to Antarctica. Just rolled yeah, the fattest yeah. blunt. I don't even want to smoke it. But like, yeah, man. Should I have the option to discard something now when I play it? I think it does it automatically. It, it does, does it after oh, at the end. Yeah, it does yeah, it yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought it would do a stumble. I'm so stupid. No, it does the burst. It's, it's just a good. burgle. Yeah. yeah, it's still not bad. I mean, it's still, I'm, not, I'm not happy. I've been cooking up a, a tweet for a while, and oh, the, yeah. the body of the tweet says this and a blunt, but then the picture in the tweet is a blunt. <laughs> nah, okay, All it's right. bad. I'm gonna put that back in the drafts. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to cook a little Chad likes oh, it. I'm not good at, I'm, I'm so bad at tweeting, man, so it, it's probably great, actually. Like. I've never had a tweet pop off before. I feel like that's like most people usually get like one. They get their one. Mm -hmm. I've never even got my one, man. I think that I don't want you to give me clank. So you know what? Get out of here. Oh. Who the hell are you? <whistles> what does she do? You have a crown. I don't have a crown. Ryan has crowns. Ryan has two crowns. She's kind of fucking serving it though. Don't impress is, me yeah. much. You know. She's giving brat. She's giving demure brat. What's up, demure shit, man? I've been demure. seeing that everywhere. <laughs> like, what, why has it been like spread? She's not demure, bro. She's demure. Those are leggings. You're a pervert. And that's all <laughs> <laughs> Aww. It seems good, man. Aww. He's moaning in the mic, man. <laughs> On open comms. Aww. It's not even like push to moan or nothing. <laughs> push to push moan. To moan. Yeah. That's the button again, man. <laughs> and that's not good. Yeah, play the falling down sound. That's fine, game. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice. It's crazy. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> R2D2 when he sees like another droid naked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit would go crazy in the Star Wars. In the Star Wars. Well, like, you know, like a female R2D2 is like missing her casing or something like that. How do you know r 2 d is not female? You could just tell. Because he's not having <laughs> just, the, just the way that he interacts with C three PO, you can just tell. Yeah, you can tell. You can tell. Because if R two D two was a uh, a woman, I think he and uh, she and C three PO would have like a little Sex in the City type vibe going on. But the <laughs> cattiness, it's either it, it's probably in my head canon, both R two D two and C three PO are gay robots. <laughs> He's imagining it. Because they're kind of like, I mean, this is ignorant of me, maybe, but they're He's both shipping them. They're both taking like 
little catty kind of like pot shots at each other. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll one second. I got I'm, I'm being called to help my I wife here that. just for a moment. Uh, I I'll get the queen of hearts real quick and then in my turn. I <laughs> just heard the... Oh, that, uh -oh. that, that sound is gone now. <laughs> Did you notice that? What's that? He must have had like a constant like room tone on his mic. Oh, yeah, no, he's, when he, he's got, no, his when audio he, is horrible, yeah. When he yeah, muted we, his mic, it just got so quiet. <laughs> yeah, that's, the, that's the way. In a world oh, of like incredibly successful like streamers who are terrible at managing the tech side of things, it's incredible that Ryan, as smart and as like, you know, cohesive as he is, is unable to like function technologically in any facet whatsoever. <laughs> why, why is everyone calling me old? <laughs> Did I get hit by the dragon? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, brother. Twice. Where the hell am I going? Uh, this way. Oh. Woo. <laughs> 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 oh man. Uh, man. Yeah. Right though, like R two D two when he sees BB eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, somebody said there's a log in the top right, and then my ass was actually like looking for a piece of wood. Like, I see now that this is what oh. you mean. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. I love the, the tone of the text. Clank Dog found a minor swift potion! <laughs> oh, I can still buy. None of this matters, right? Yeah, yeah, nothing, 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 nothing. Buy the ladder and go back in. Plus <laughs> <laughs> It's closer yeah. to, I don't know, I actually I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if I definitely had it one or anything. I was hoping you went to save and died. I was hoping you were pressuring you to, yeah, I was like, oh. oh. Yeah. Wow. Damn. 91 is crazy. Wow, Paul. If you had gotten the extra 20 and then left, imagine how mad you <laughs> <laughs> Nice, uh, Ryan. Dude, I didn't know I was in there like that. I guess I did buy a bunch of crowns. 69, yeah. Right, good games, good games. Good games, everybody. Good, good games. games. I'm going to practice off stream. Well, <laughs> Dude, do so. <laughs> It'll be fun. Or on stream. Oh, clank on stream? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, it's clanking on gotta stream. Got to go to kick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. True. So true. All right, later, boys. Have a great weekend. All right, chat. I'm out of here. I'm going to go eat some lunch. Enjoy yourself. We'll be back uh, on Monday. No holidays come. Well, Labor Day is coming up, but it's not this Monday. <laughs> All right. See you on Monday. Have a great weekend. Bye. I love it when you suck me like that and when you close me. Give me the shivers, two or three, and baby, we're gonna go till I split your crack. And when you see the body's over, then you throw it right back. I said, ooh, something's that, that, that was I close? He doesn't say that. He says something like that. You make me feel like I'm living a teenage dream. The way you suck me off, I go. And don't ever look, baby, with your ripped up jeans and your skin tight jeans and your teenage jeans tonight. That's a banger, too. But you didn't have to suck me off. <laughs> Put my underpants down and throat my member But you didn't have to bite it off And spit it out and get me feel so low <laughs> What? Something like it's so- I didn't write the song, dude! It's something like that, okay? Leave those parodies to Justin I still think about it every time I hear the song Which is like every 80s ride on Peloton John Cougar Mellencamp's uh, Jack and Diane Sucking off chili dudes inside the morgue's deep freeze. Jack's wearing a winter coat. He's got a pillow underneath his knees. Let them rock, let them roll. Let the Bible Belt come and save my soul. I think about your pisses on my lips like all the time. Because your piss, your piss is on my lips Because your piss, your piss I can't resist Because your piss is on my lips When I turn out the lights 
I have Vanessa Carlton song stuck in my head, except it's sucking a dick downtown, sucking fast, stations passed and I'm homebound. And I throat you. I don't know why I'm using throat. I guess because you gotta, you need a lot of synonyms for suck in order to make the song feel clever. And I piss you. 